Hey, Rob, you want to know something weird? No. Yeah, sure. What's up? Uh, for the DCBC stuff, like, they don't actually give you a warning that your uh, thing's about to expire. What the fuck's DCBC? Diver Certification Board of Canada. Oh. oh. Yeah. Why did you, did you just expire? Or? Yeah, my it's expired and I got a I got an email from them saying, "Hey, guess what? It's expired." And I I was kind of shocked to that cuz like, "Wait, why did I not get like, "Hey, it's going to expire in like a month. Better get on that shit." That's really shitty. So what do you what, is there a way to just refresh I, it? I have to just go I have to fill out the form and everything and give them proof that of 50 dives in the past 2 years. Oh, that's not that bad then. That's still shit, though, but I mean, that's not that. No, but it's just like, I could have been, if I was working somewhere, it's just like, I don't pay attention to the, the, the date that it's supposed to uh, come to a close. <laughs> it's just like, I, like even the government, when my driver's license is about to ex expire, they give me a notice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think mine expires this birthday this year. I remember to get that redone. Yeah, I just go to... Uh, no, he's going to kill me. Just like the old gypsum woman said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's got to be a thing we use more often, to be honest. The old gypsy woman? Yeah. <laughs> or just Archer in general. This is true. I haven't watched the new season yet. I hear it's pretty good. Oh, the new season's out? Because I just binged watched yeah, the yeah, entire yeah. series. Oh, did you? Yeah, just finished it today. Nice. I'm glad to know that they got confirmed for another three seasons. Yeah. So, it's just lots fun of fun. Show. Like, it's like it's not spectacular. It's not like it's like, a, hey, like, Game of Thrones, you gotta go see this. But it's like, it was one of the most relaxing shows to just throw on and, like, lay down. Oh, yeah. Or just to have on when you're gaming, even. Yeah, well, unless you... Don't have like a headphone or something to put in, so right, right. people don't have to hear it. Or you could be like Rob and have a really special shotgun mic. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you be playing Dark Souls, Rob? Aside from the fact you're in Germany or Austria, I I'm think. I'm actually in Austria right now. I'm in Salzburg. Um, I'm actually going to see the Eagle Nest tomorrow. Nice. Why do I feel like I should know what that is? Uh, Hitler's kind of like the bunker center, like bunker. Oh, okay, that's okay. Right, right, right. Rob better be be bringing back pictures. I will be. Yeah. So many pictures. You say, don't go bitching out like you did at the Disney Castle. <laughs> Even though chances are, if they had discovered your camera, you would have been kicked right the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> and like, who knows, they might have confiscated my camera or some shit like that. Well, that uh, sucks. Come on, phantoms. We need help. We need more bitches for this bitch souls. Yep. Yay, we got one. Oh, uh... Uh, for your armor, how do you negate all of your ACP if you're running something like full plate? Well, you sure as hell wouldn't be doing that level one. <laughs> but um, the way that I negated my full plate armor... Fuck it, we're going in. Uh, ...came from being a fighter, so you probably won't be able to fully negate it. But if you get the trait for armor expert, that'll bring it down by one. And if you make it out of methyl, that'll bring it down by another three. So there you are. It's gone from a minus seven to a minus four. Yeah, I, 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 I have that trait. It'll come down to a minus three. Which other trait, sorry? No, never mind. Just correcting your math, like a dick. Um, no. Wait. Did I say wait. minus four or minus three? It's minus four. It's minus three. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, minus three. Sorry. <laughs> it's like I knew what I wanted to say. I just yeah, didn't no, say it right. I know, dude. I know. I'm just being, I was just being a dick. Anyway. I'm also supposed to be the math guy in the group, so how could I get that wrong? And there goes the host. 
the fact that I correct anybody on their math is beyond me. No, I just did far too much of it back in uh, high school. Did I ever yeah. tell you guys a story about that? Probably no. did at some point. Well, I'm not sure. You might have. Story time! <laughs> So essentially what happened is back in elementary school now, this is going years and years back. Gotcha. Like I really was like one of those lazy students, never excelled in anything kind of thing. Got to the point where it's like, you know, I practically failed. I think it was English and math. But as far as I know, like I still passed them. It's just wasn't that great at passing it. Like let's say I had a 54 or something. But what happened was my teacher then basically forced me to go to summer school for them to boost up the grades. Because apparently no one's going to want to hire me for a job if I don't pass with like 60s or 70s back in grade 8. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I do the math and, and the English in summer school. But she also made me go for the uh, essentials class level for math. Which, for high school, usually there's academic and applied, which is like the advanced and the normal. Essentials was below that. So in grade 9, I take the grade 9 essentials math class. And it basically made grade 8 math look like a bitch. Sorry, I think I had that backwards. It made grade 8 math look super fucking advanced, is how simple it was. So I finished Mm. that with, like, you know, flying colors, because it was simple as all hell. Flash forward to grade 10, where I'm now at a new school, and what they were going to have me do is, because I did so well in that class, in my grade 10 year, I was going to take the grade 9 and the grade 10 applied classes, just to basically be quote-unquote caught up. Right. But they fucked it up. So they put me in the grade 10 class for first semester, and then the grade 9 class for second semester. So I finished the grade 10, I think I got like a low 70-something, I don't remember what it was. But then second semester comes around, I'm in the grade nine class. The teacher gives us on the first day like a um, uh, like assessment kind of test thing to see like where we are. And I basically aced through that thing in like five minutes. And he's just like, well, why the hell are you in this class? Like you are like beyond like this like math level. I tell him the story about like how all this stuff happened. And he's like, oh, okay, well. After class, like, we go to, like, the principal's office and talk to them about this. Like, hey, like, he's in this class, but he's, like, way beyond advanced for it. Like, what are we going to do? I'm thinking to myself, oh, sweet. Can I get a spare in, like, grade 10? Like, is that something that can happen? <coughs> Apparently, no. They don't allow that. So they put me in the grade 11 class. Of course they do. <laughs> but the funny thing was, my grade 11 math teacher was the same one I had for the grade 10 math class. And again, like she saw, you know, I'm kind of lazy. I don't really like put my heart and effort into this kind of stuff. And so she's like, well, what the hell are you doing in here? Kind of thing. And I, again, explained the situation. She's like, um, okay, I guess so. So go through that semester. I think I finished like a 73 or something, which hilariously enough beat out about half the class. Grade 11 comes around. And again, the school looks at my records like, well, you've already done the grade 11, so we'll put you in the grade 12. And I'm just like, can't I just be done with this? (laughs) And so I, again, go through the grade 12, get like a 70 or something, whatever in that. Grade 12 finally comes around. I'm like, okay, no more math. None whatsoever. It's not mandatory. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They make me take the other grade 12. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm just like, can I just stop, please? Like, can I just be done with this? <laughs> wow. So, yeah, after doing all that, I've just kind of been put into this point where it's like, yeah, I'm, like, pretty good at doing math and stuff. I can do it pretty easy and all that. I just fucking hate it. <laughs> right. I'm just glad they never made me take stuff like calculus and all that. Ugh. <laughs> I don't think I could stand that. I think I would have failed it just for the sake of being like, yeah, see, I shouldn't have taken that class. <laughs> I think yeah, I, I stupidly I took I a that. class of that, and I got a half credit for college for it. Nice. But oh, Falk is back. Yeah. Let's see, can I... Can I 
summon another friend? Yeah, I can summon another friend. Yay. Oh, I think I think we have Guts. His name isn't Guts, but he's using like Guts It'd be as a Awesome sword. if it was. I so we just make him fight it cuz he apparently can't die. <laughs> yeah. I need to watch that series. Guys using a great sword one-handed. I could do that. Yeah, he's using Guts' as sword. <laughs> All right, let's Let's do this. This time I'm actually not gonna be, you know, doing front things, lining. You, yeah, you guys can do. You guys can do all that. You're being the equivalent of the caster who front lines, because he doesn't know what he's doing. No, I, I tend to to go to the front because it's like, fuck it, I'll just do damage. Ow, fuck sakes! I just I my swear souls. to God, if you were killed in that, I would. I don't even know what no, I would I have, have done. I have too much health for him to kill me in one. Although he's going for me. Which is... Annoying? Get away from him. Trying. <laughs> Did he just cry like a baby? Ah, fucking tail trying to like get my way up closer and it's just like ah fuck you yeah I have one Estus left pardon a little mildly entertaining um I'm in Salzburg right Home yeah. of Mozart. Nice. And also the, uh, the um, city they recorded the sound of music in. Okay. Uh, you seen? I'm assuming a popular old like musical. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what the sound of music is. Julie Andrews. Right, right, right. right. Okay. So, I've actually now been to pretty much every place that that movie's shot. Nice. Quite cool. Um, like walked up and down the steps uh, and around the fountain of the Do Re Mi section and blah blah. blah. Okay, that's cool. Right. Oh, he, um, he teleports. Hilarious thing on the TV here. There's actually a channel in the city that is twenty four seven sound of music. <laughs> oh God, that must be what hell is like. <laughs> like I like sound of music as much as the next guy. Like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a classic movie installing classic principles and whatever right but i'm like okay 24 7 come on <laughs> yeah hey tuna you want to give me a heal well um, i am lagging all over the place there's his tailspin there's his lunge attack come You're about to be by yourself again. Ooh, I would say maybe I should bring in my storm thing, but I don't know if it would work against this guy the same. I guess I have a lot more, like, health this time. That's true. Ow. Down I go. Well, that was fun. But, um, yeah, Sound of Music 24-7... No, I, I I'm pretty sure if I was like British, put like if I was born, bred, living in Britain, I would rather hear Dick Van Dyke's Cockney accent twenty four seven than that movie twenty four seven. Um, for those who don't know, apparently Britons really do not like Dick Van Dyke's Cockney accent for Mary Poppins to be specific. That's pretty funny. Quite. I didn't know that, though. I, to be brutally honest, I actually didn't know that Dick Van Dyke was an American actor until, like, a few weeks ago. Because the only movies I've ever seen him in were British movies, like Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So for the yeah. longest time, I just thought he was a British actor. Ah, kicked me in the face. Um, 
Yeah, I've been finding out a couple of facts here, factoids here and there that have just been like, really? Wow. Um, Um, yeah, it's just been it's been a very interesting trip to be honest with you. Nice. Um, not even like I mean like the locations have been phenomenal. Don't get me wrong, the food has been fantastic. But mm -hmm. I mean, there's been a lot of a lot of people are very rude, which I think is just a, a change of um, culture. Yep. Trying to find the word for it. Um, and there's also a bit of a language barrier. Uh, yeah, so that, that's unfortunate. But the things that I've been finding that have been very interesting is overall, I think I probably could have done without um, a lot of the trip in the sense that, like, a lot of the locations are. Well, beautiful, um, not very entertaining, or, or very um, enlightening, which is kind of hilarious because I call it enlightening because it's I've discovered that they are unenlightening. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the only true knowledge is knowing that you know nothing, so I guess the only true enlightenment is to know that you're not enlightening. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what it, what it's all come down to really is that um, I've kind of at least learned what kind of things uh, I'm gonna enjoy in a um, foreign place. Like when, I, when I'm going to some place, like why am I going there, right? Yeah. If it's look at pretty mountains and green trees and shit, then sure. Okay, fine. If it's to relax, okay, yeah, all right, I can see like Germany, Austria, Switzerland, I guess. Mm -hmm. Better places to relax, but they're not bad. But I mean, overall, I could have probably seen what I wanted to see in maybe a day or two. Okay. And I would have been happy with it. He's dead. Oh, you managed to do it? Nice. Yep. He's, he's not that bad. He only has a few attack patterns, and all I have to do is... Oh is just kind of wait for him to finish his attacks. Oh, boy, okay. that, that sucks. Oh, wow. Fuck that night. <laughs> Time to check out his battle arena. So I just tried to uh, run past those two knights, and the one that's up on the stairs leading to where that fight is, mm -hmm. I'm rolling to go past him, and he just overhand fucked me. Yep. Again, uh, that's... They have overhead uh, tracking, which is really fucking over, annoying. Overhand fucked you. I just love the way that yep. you portrayed that. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it just means he fucked me with that goddamn overhead strike. Yeah, no, I know. I cannot path fucking ahead. stand that. Like Missions every time, it's like, okay, you decided to commit to attacking in this direction, attack in that direction. Don't like start your attack and then just like start swirling around like on a goddamn dime. And somehow be able to keep up with me. Yeah, no, it's it's something added in Dark Souls 2 is the overhead tracking like that. Yeah. Because in Dark Souls 1 they didn't have that much of a track. Now it's 360, doesn't matter. They're overhead, you could be directly behind them. As soon as they go for an overhead, it's going to come straight down on top of you. You have to wait until they're bringing it down and it's almost going to hit you to, to move out of the way. Go. All right, I'm gonna go spend my souls and then open up that door that leads to whatever. Still trying also, to collect my souls. Also, since Rob, you're here, where is the uh, emote to go to the dragons? Oh, um, it's actually just past the scaleless guy. You go to the, there's like a fountain. Perfect, because like I I was told to go this way and I haven't found it yet. I'm like, is it behind here or is it? Or has I been told wrong? Yeah, you go a little ways. There's like a fountain, and you go in front of it. I think you just like hit A or something, or you or you sit or something. I can't remember exactly. Oh, sorry. No, wait. Did you? You should have. Do you have the emote yet? No, we don't have the emote yet. 
And I think that's how you got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So there isn't really anything past Mo, like dead end, just where that item is or whatever? Just a fountain? Yeah, like is that all that's behind him? Um, there might be an item or something. Well, no, like I just mean like, can I do that now just as I wait to go back before I go back and spend my souls, or is it going to open up like a whole huge open area? Um, go spend your souls first because I think there's some creatures that will attack you. Fair enough. Oh, 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 spend your souls first. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, but with my track record, it's safer to spend them now. Yeah. You don't want to accidentally um, give me like Scott one at one point had like what four million souls and lost them. Ooh. Let's level up. Uh, figure for health. So I'm at about 55,000 per level right now. Travel, Osiris the Consumed King. Oh, it's these guys. Who are these guys? 